Bienvenidos, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified when I release new content. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. Anyways, today we have an incredible show. We're making four Spanish vegan tapas that are gonna blow your mind. Guys, all these recipes are loaded with Spanish flavors, super easy to make, use simple and affordable ingredients, and they're all done in 30 minutes or less. Folks, this is the real deal. Big, bold Spanish flavors, suitable for vegans, vegetarians, and meat eaters. Serve these tapas at your next party, and everyone's gonna be like, dude, this is so good, you're the bomb. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Seriously, guys, insanely delicious. Let's dive right in. Really quick, before we get started, don't forget to pick up your Spain on a Fork t-shirt. That way when you're making these recipes, you can feel like you're part of the show, guys. Your contributions to Spain on a Fork is what helps keep the show going. You'll find all this merchandise for sale below this video. For our first recipe, we have a beautiful dish of Spanish roasted potatoes with a spicy garlicky tomato sauce. Guys, seriously, this is such an incredible tapas dish, loaded with so many flavors, so easy to make, and done in under 30 minutes. I'm gonna grab three small Yukon Go potatoes and cut them into pieces that are about half inch thick. And as you're cutting your potatoes, add them into a large bowl. Once you have all your potatoes cut, drizzle in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, season with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And toss this together until everything's well combined. Next, I'm gonna add the potatoes into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And make sure that they're all in a single layer. That way when we cook them in the oven, they all roast evenly. Now I'm gonna add the potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and boil option, 250 degrees Celsius, which is 475 degrees Fahrenheit. While our potatoes are roasting in the oven, let's get our spicy garlic tomato sauce going. I'm gonna heat a small fry pan with a medium heat and add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Two minutes after heating the oil, I'm gonna add in some diced onions. This is about a quarter cup. Three minutes after adding the onions into the pan and they're nice and translucent, I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic that I finely minced and continue to mix this. That way nothing burns. 30 seconds after adding the garlic in there and it's nice and fragrant, you don't wanna overcook it. I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika and half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika. Quickly mix this together, that way that paprika doesn't get a bitter flavor to it. Grab a can of tomato sauce, pour in about one cup, season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And mix this all together until it's well combined. Once the sauce is mixed, I am gonna lower this to a low heat and let it simmer while we wait for the potatoes. It's been exactly 20 minutes since we added the potatoes in the oven. They should be perfectly roasted. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out, transfer them into a shallow bowl, grab our spicy garlic tomato sauce that's been simmering and pour over the potatoes. and garnish the dish with some fresh parsley. Guys, check this tapas dish out. So many great flavors. You got that beautiful spices from that hot smoked Spanish paprika. The potatoes just kind of melt in your mouth. This is a dish that's made to impress, naturally vegan, naturally gluten-free, done in under 30 minutes. For our next recipe, we are making some stuffed mushrooms with garlic and parsley. Guys, this is such an insane tapas appetizer. It is a garlic lover's dream. And those mushrooms add a beautiful meaty texture. This is very easy to make and done in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna begin by finely mincing nine cloves of garlic, adding them into a mortar, grabbing a handful of fresh parsley, and finely chopping it. and add about two tablespoons of the freshly chopped parsley into the mortar with the garlic. Now using a pestle, I'm gonna pound down on the garlic in the parsley until I form a paste. Then I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, 
Season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And give it a quick mix, that way everything's well combined. For the next step, I'm gonna grab nine extra large button mushrooms. You want your mushrooms to be large in size, that way you can really stuff them with that mixture. I'm gonna give them a quick wash. Pat them completely dry with some paper towels to remove any of that excess dirt. And remove the stems from each mushroom. Then you want to get in there with a butter knife and scrape around the mushroom just to make the hole a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to add the mushrooms into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Give the mushrooms a little drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil. And season them with some sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Now we're gonna grab our garlic and parsley mixture and evenly divide it into the nine mushrooms. Now I'm gonna add these mushrooms into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, 210 degrees Celsius, 410 degrees Fahrenheit. After exactly 15 minutes, I'm gonna take the mushrooms out of the oven and transfer them into a serving dish. And this tapas dish is ready to go, guys. Look how easy it was to put these together. And look how beautiful they look. Like I told you guys earlier, this is such a garlic lover's dream. You serve these at your next party and they're gonna be a huge hit. Beautiful flavors, easy to make, done in 30 minutes. For our third dish, we are making a beautiful tapas dish of fried eggplant with agave syrup. This is a very popular tapas appetizer in the south of Spain and Andalusia. It's sweet, it's savory, it is insanely delicious. Truly, one of the best things you will ever taste. I'm gonna begin by grabbing an eggplant, cutting off about half an inch from each end, and then cutting it into rounds that are half an inch thick. Next, I'm gonna add the slices of eggplant on top of some paper towels and season each one generously with fine sea salt on both sides. This is a very important step when you're working with eggplant. That salt's gonna remove all those enzymes that give eggplants a bitter flavor. After letting our eggplant sit for about 15 minutes, I'm gonna remove the salt from each piece using a paper towel. Next up, I'm gonna grab a bowl and add in some oat milk. You can use whatever type of plant-based milk that you like. And in another bowl, I'm gonna add in some all-purpose flour, about half a cup, and season it generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's start coating our eggplant slices. You wanna begin by adding it into the milk first. Make sure you get it on both sides. And then put it on the flour and make sure you coat it well. Shake off any of the excess flour and add it to a dish. And continue to do this until all your eggplants are perfectly coated. Next up, I'm gonna grab a large frying pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in about one third cup of virgin olive oil. After heating our oil for about three minutes, I'm gonna start adding the slices of eggplant in there. You wanna cook this in batches, that way you don't overcrowd the pan. After two to two and a half minutes, I'm gonna start flipping the eggplants. You want them to be nice and fried. This gives a beautiful texture to this dish. After a total cooking time of four to five minutes, I'm gonna remove the eggplants from the pan and transfer them to a dish with paper towels. And continue to cook your eggplant in batches until everything's done. Now I'm gonna transfer the fried eggplants into a serving dish. For the final touch, I'm gonna to drizzle in some agave syrup. You don't wanna to add too much. Agave syrup is sweeter than honey, guys. This is seriously such an incredible tapas appetizer. It's sweet, it's savory, it is out of this world good. This one is gonna be a hit no matter when you serve it. For the fourth and final recipe, we are making some garlic tofu banderillas. These are basically mini skewers with Spanish olives and roasted peppers. This is such an insane tapas appetizer. So many great flavors, so many different textures. It is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a block of extra firm organic tofu. Very important to use extra firm tofu in this recipe. I'm gonna drain the water from the tofu. 
Cut the tofu in half lengthwise and pat it completely dry with paper towels. Then I'm going to cut each piece of tofu into half inch pieces and then flip it and cut it again in half inch pieces to end up with some cubes. I'm going to transfer the tofu cubes into a large bowl. Add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a generous teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, and season generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And toss this all together until it's well combined. Then I'm going to add the seasoned tofu into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And make sure that all the tofu is in a single layer, that way it all cooks evenly. Now we're going to add our tofu into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, 250 degrees Celsius, 475 degrees Fahrenheit. While our tofu is in the oven, I'm going to grab about 5 jar roasted red bell peppers and pat them down with some paper towels. Cut each one in half, and then into half inch pieces. It's been exactly 15 minutes since we added the tofu into the oven. It should have the perfect texture. Let's go ahead and take it out of the oven. All right, let's start assembling our banderillas. I'm gonna grab one of the pieces of the roasted pepper, roll it up, then pierce it with a toothpick, add one Spanish green olive, and one cube of the tofu. And continue to do this until you have them all assembled. Once you have all your banderillas done, transfer them into a serving dish and this is ready to go, guys. This is truly an incredible tapas dish loaded with so many Spanish flavors, so many different textures. Like I said earlier, this is gonna blow your mind. Vegans, vegetarians, meat eaters, they're all gonna go crazy over these banderillas. We have just created four beautiful Spanish vegan tapas, guys. These are insanely delicious, loaded with so much Spanish flavor, easy to make, and they're all done in 30 minutes or less. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.